In this demo, we are going to show you how Salonis can put AI to work in your operations across the organization to drive better business outcomes. We'll cover how easy it is to connect to your source systems and automatically make your data ready to use. Then we'll show you how Salonis can empower analysts to automatically identify root causes of process friction and we'll show you how Salonis can intelligently and automatically enhance processes while alerting your plant managers when the decision involves manual input. Lastly, we'll show how to track results over time so that your executive leadership can understand the ROI of improvement initiatives. When you engage with Solonis, the first thing is to connect to source systems. While admittedly not the most flashy piece of the product, it's important to see how easy it is for an analyst or data engineer to get Solonis up and running. Other enterprise tools like BI take four to six months on average to implement according to Gartner. Solonis delivers value in three months or less on average and is able to enhance performance based on data analytics. We can do this because of our App Store, which provides pre-built connectors for 80 plus processes across 35 plus source systems such as SAP, Oracle or Microsoft. This drastically reduces time to value and subject matter expertise necessary to get started. Let's get connected by downloading the SAP Plant Maintenance Connector. In addition to the data connectors, the App Store also contains 375 pre-built analytical apps and more than 85 pre-configured enhancement actions and 25 greater business objectives with KPIs to help deliver value as quickly as possible. So we just saw that an analyst or data engineer could easily download apps that take care of data connection, extraction and transformation while also providing useful analyses out of the box. Now let's look at how a plant maintenance process can be analyzed using Salonis and also how Salonis can drive better business outcomes in the plant maintenance process. Let's pretend I'm a plant manager product owner looking to optimize the performance of my organization in terms of throughput time, productivity and compliance. We've selected a few process KPIs for each that give me an overview of our progress so I can easily keep tabs on how we're doing, quickly drill down into any issues and use this to inform my optimization strategy. Looking at the data, we see that we have in total 19,000 notifications that lead to 14,000 work orders, which result in 51,000 operations. Before analyzing our strategic goals in more detail, we'll have a look at the as-is plant maintenance process to understand the basis of all calculations. The process starts by the creation of a notification which is assigned to an agent. The agent accepts the notification and the work order can be created. Then the work order is planned and scheduled, partially confirmed, released, technically completed and the process ends with a complete work order. Today what catches my eye is that some work orders had to be rescheduled because the waiting time for services was too long and that notifications are re-signed which causes rework and longer cycle times. Keeping in mind that the process is not modeled but actually visualized straight out of the data, we can fully understand how complex the process is by unveiling all variants at once. So next up, we're going to put our analyst hat on to figure out what friction points are causing these KPIs to underperform and what we can do about them. Let's focus on one of our first findings in the process. We see from the automatic root cause analysis that missing information is the number one root cause of notification reassignments. The subcycle time for reassigned notifications is on average eight days compared to one day. Many notifications are reassigned due to wrong or missing information. Salonis can show us lots of friction points, but there we see the ones which had the biggest impact on our outcomes. And now that we know the causes of friction, we can act on them. Using the insights we just gained, Salonis provides us an intelligent trigger that monitors all open notification hoppings for this pattern, recommends next best actions and directly automates to enhance our process. 
In Salonus we call this a skill, a component that senses friction and executes actions to resolve that friction within our action engine. It's like having the ability to know when something important is going wrong in your process and immediately resolving it in the optimal way. Isn't that a skill we'd all like to master? We decide how to resolve the friction based on the root cause. Each user has an inbox of key action items that need to be addressed across their responsibilities. We see the task generated by our notification reassignment skill. The task has been assigned to one of our assignees. In the task, we see all of the information we need to understand the context and make the right decision. Once we decide, we can execute this recommendation with a single click. Ultimately, this allows us to intelligently leverage the power of automation. We are optimizing our cycle time, which sometimes involves automation and other requires human action. In this example, we target the most common pain point that causes notification reassignments. The assignee receives automatically the information that the work steps of the work order have not been properly defined. The action engine then recommends to request additional information from the creator so that the notification can be assigned to the appropriate team to prevent reassignments later on. In the App Store, we offer a comprehensive library of pre-built skills. And if we don't have what you're looking for, new skills can be configured with just a few clicks. For our plant managers, it can be really difficult to identify notification reassignments as their day-to-day -day focus is to minimize cycle time. Let's see how Salonis can help them to focus on the right priorities and guide them towards the process that will maximize the plant's performance. What we've just seen is how we can connect to our core systems, discover a friction point that was preventing us from achieving our goal of optimized cycle time and implementing a skill to resolve this friction. Switching gears, I'm now going to focus on my other strategic initiative, perfect plant maintenance without any unwanted activities. I'm focusing on the rework KPIs that give me an overview of our progress so I can easily keep tabs on how we're doing. This automatic root cause analysis shows me the most common inefficiencies and their impact on cycle time. The analysis adjusts dynamically and shows that all work orders related to thermoelectric sensors have been waiting for service. Moreover, they were scheduled with an impact in cost and risk associated. The drill down table helps me to identify why the work order could not be processed as planned. Thermoelectric sensors are non-stock materials. That means they must be ordered when needed. Here they were not ordered or delivered on time. And now that we know the causes of friction, we can act on them by leveraging the action engine and process automation to prevent them from being rescheduled due to lack of materials. This action engine skill allows me to automatically order the required materials of the prioritized work orders. My processes are all interconnected and so my purchase to pay process and plant maintenance and material management all influence each other. In this case, as soon as Silonis discovers that I just planned a work order that requires non-stock material, it immediately creates a purchase order item within SAP with process automation in the back end. To target the last finding within our process, order waiting for service, I can create an action engine skill that prioritizes my work orders accordingly. In this case, I'm preventing that a low priority work order requires materials and human resources of a high priority order. By doing so, I automatically reschedule the low priority work order and resolve the conflict. Introducing another component of the Solution Intelligent Business Cloud, we move to the Transformation Center, where I can subscribe to the KPIs like our cycle time, rework ratio and notification hopping ratio to get, for example, a weekly email at 8 a.m. that summarizes our progress related to our goals. I can see that our cycle time has been steadily improving since we implemented this new skill. Let's take a look at notification reassignments. After identifying the main root cause for notification reassignments and implementing an action engine skill to improve this, we can monitor the improvement and impact of our enhancement in a dedicated executive KPI. 
To conclude the demo, we can see how we are able to use Solonis to optimize our operations towards better plant maintenance. We were able to sense friction and find the root causes that negatively impact cycle time, implemented actions and automations that specifically address these challenges and monitor the results over time.